Welcome to our webinar. Today we are going to talk about uh, Bluebeam Clouds. And yeah, let's, let's get it started. So before we started with uh, Bluebeam specifically, I'm gonna talk a little bit about us, Bean Zero. Uh, our company fosters innovation through delivering software and hardware solutions, consulting, training, development, and managed service. We have become a trusted technology advisor to our customers through the breadth and depth of our service offering and technical expertise. A little bit about myself. My name is Claudio Mota and I'm a technical consultant for the AEC industry with a special interest in Bluebeam and Revit. This is our agenda for today. Uh, we're gonna have an overview of what is Bluebeam Cloud, and we're gonna go through how to import files to the Bluebeam Cloud uh, from the local, local network Bluebeam Studio, publishing drawings. We're gonna talk about our markup editor tools, important tool sets from our PC or our uh, Bluebeam review, collaboration in real time. And we're gonna finalize with a few tools. We're gonna to talk about punch lists and RFIs. At any time, so you can uh, put some questions uh, in the key, Q&A session, and at the end, I can address them. Okay, so what is Bluebeam Cloud? It's, uh, it's basically a new suite of cloud-based solutions that seamlessly, seamlessly connects with your documents and two sets in review. With cloud, you can work from anywhere via web or iOS device, no setup, or installation required. The markup editor enables you to easily comment and collaborate on your project's documents. It's, uh, I love to say that's an, a way to integrate your office and your field teams. It's, we can, of course, uh, mark up as we do in review, but it's, it's powerful for the, especially to, this integration between your office and the field issues. It's important to say that uh, Bluebeam Cloud is not a substitute for a review 21. It's more as an additional resource to help you minimize this gap between office and field. Okay, so let's go to our first, let's get into our blue bean review so here is uh, the interface you might know uh, i'm here in review 21 and i'm i'm here under my studio tab my projects so i have this project here that i want to work with which is the blue bean cloud webinar and i have this structure here with some folders and some drawings inside and the thing is, I'm here working at the office and collaborating in real time with my colleagues. And now I want to set up uh, something for the field team. Go there and check and do the punch list and do some markups as well, if necessary, and RFIs. And we can do this uh, using the same drawings that we are collaborating at the office at, at the same time. So uh, I'm not gonna talk about uh, Bluebeam Studio, but this is just the I started points for you to know what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna import all these files to my Bluebeam Cloud. So now I'm gonna swap my screen to the cloud. So this is uh, the web browse, like the web browse cloud solution. And we'll, this is the address we need to, 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 to go to the Bluebeam Cloud. So we're gonna select our region, which is Australia, and we are going to sign in. So 
So I'm just going to use my email address. So you can see I, I don't need any program installed here. I'm no installation required. This is a web browser as any other uh, web page that you want to visit. Here, when I, uh, when I open my Blue Bean, Blue Bean Cloud, I'm going to have my workspace. This workspace is kind of uh, a space that you can use to browse your files inside here when you are not prepared to share uh, your files just yet. So it's a place that you can work with your files, do some markups and some uh, addition, edit uh, some drawings without sharing with no one. So it's your own uh, workplace that you don't need to share. And you just simply browse from your uh, local machine. But what we are interested in today, it's the project. So we're going to use this tab here. And here I have my Bluebeam Cloud webinar projects already here. It's important to, to mention that this is not uh, an automatic uh, integration between Bluebeam Studio and Bluebeam Cloud. I've created manually this one here. Uh, I'm just using the same name, so I'm aware that I'm working at the same project. But this one here, I've created manually. To, to do that, you just need to come here and you're going to create your project. So you're going to put your name and you start putting details about that. So I'm just going to click here, my project. And then I'm going to come to my dashboard. My dashboard, I have information about my, my project. I have the location of my, my project, which is Auckland. Uh, I have my admin area. I'm the administrator of this project. So I have th this uh, the possibility to invite people to the project and view the team that I already invited. So here in this project, I have two people working, which is Alex the company and myself. Go back to the dashboard. Here we have the drawing sessions when uh, where we're gonna upload our drawings. Punch, punch items, when we're going to create punch items, RFIs, and yeah. And here you can even see if you, you have any overdue RFI. OK. So the first thing um, uh, I would like to show you today is how to import files uh, to your Bluebeam Cloud. So it's pretty straightforward. You can see here the drawing sessions. You can come here to the drawings as well, but you can start just clicking here, the upload drawings. And you have two options here. You can upload drawings from your uh, local machine. So we're gonna browse files. You're gonna find the, the place that you save your files and you're gonna place here. But today we are talking about, that's why I showed before the Bluebeam Studio, because I, I want to import the files that I'm working on Bluebeam Studio so I can uh, work on the same page as everyone else. I'm not at the office, I'm going to the field, but I'm going to work with the same pages and they are all updated because I'm taking straight from the, the, the Bluebeam Studio. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to create here, import drawings and from studio. So here, if you, um, you can notice here, I have three possible uh, alternatives on my studio projects. I have the Bluebeam Cloud Webinar, which is the one that interests us, Bluebeam Assets and uh, Tests. So I'm going to choose this one here. And here you can choose to uh, select to, to upload, uh, import everything, or you can even go there and select now. So now I'm going to import just these drawings here. I'm going to come here, confirm my selection. It's uh, the uh, Bluebeam Cloud is going to say that's processing. You can see here the status is processing. It takes a 
few uh, just a, a moment to to do that and uh when while it's processing when it's processed and you read to go you're going to receive an email as well so you're going to know that you the the process is finished and you can publish your drawings so just bear with me takes a little bit while because it's uh yeah so it's not too long as you may notice uh here i have now the ready for review so i'm gonna click here and here i can check the drawings that i have to and uh, that i'm importing from blue bean studio projects and i have the number uh which is the the same as you named and you numbered before at blue bean studio and you can even if you if you want here change the discipline and put a, some revision comments for example and when you finish to do that you're going to choose the ones that you want to publish because now it's just here but it's not published for everyone and now we're just going to click publish and going to start applying so now when we go to our dashboard we're going to see the drawings and if we go to our drawing session here i can see all the drawings they are they, they are all here now something that's important to notice uh, to mention you can see here that's a drawing session and a document session which uh, at the first look it might look like the same but the difference here it's the drawings it's gonna be the place that you're gonna uh save the drawings that you want the few team to create punch lists and respond rfis and uh if necessary mark up as well the drawings where the documents uh tab you can do the same here but you can this place here you cannot uh uh import from blue bean studio so you're gonna download the files from your local machine and you the, the thing here is you can upload the folders it's, uh, straight but you can create the same structure as you have in your uh, blue bean studio so here at the document tab it's kind of a document management place so you can have everything exactly the same as you you have at a uh, blue bean uh, studio so for example i can create here my revisions as i have there and now i can click here and upload files to my revision so i'm going to create a, a folder structure exactly as i have uh, in the in our blue bean studio the difference is you can mark up drawings from here from the documents tab but you cannot create punch lists and rfis it's just for markups so if you if you are thinking about the field team you want to upload your drawings to the drawing session not the document session so that's the first thing we need to to understand we publish and now we can choose for example any of this uh drawings here um I'm gonna choose, for example, this one here, the first one, it doesn't matter for the sake of presentation here. I'm gonna click on that. And then I started my markup editor. So here is a place that I can start marking up my, my drawing. You see that some of them, it's, uh, I have all my, 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 my markups from the Blue Bean Studio. So you still can, uh, change the properties here if you if you want for example i'm going to choose this one here uh, i want this to be yellow now not blue so it's it works basically as uh, as the the review that we are used to it for the markup tools we have uh these tools here uh, we have this tools tab here and you can start marking up our drawings from there so the first thing that i 
I want to show is the cloud, just a simple cloud as we have in the Bluebeam Studio or Bluebeam Review. So if you see here, I, I have a kind of a gray arrow on the bottom. That means that if I click, left click and hold, I can choose different styles uh, to, to do this markup here, to, to place this markup. So I'm gonna choose my cloud, the cloud, and I'm just gonna take here, place here. You see that we can change the properties as, as usual. That's nothing different from what we are used to do. The same thing here, I'm zoom in and zooming out with my control key press and just using the, the, the wheel, the mouse wheel. Uh, the next, uh, we have the pin vector next to that we can use with, so it works basically, you're gonna click and leave and you can close or you can leave it uh, uh, open. It's up to you. It's another tool that you can use to mark up. The other one is the text box. So I'm just gonna create here and just text. Uh, and you can adjust your text box to just as, as you want. Um, arrows, pretty straightforward as well. So you're gonna select here. You can change the, the style of, style of uh, your arrow. If you wanna dash line, you can change here as you can see. I'm just gonna leave like that. Cloud Plus we have as well. So it's uh, under our callout. Again, that's the gray uh, arrow on, on the bottom here. So I can just press here and I have callout or Cloud Plus. And again, it works exactly. Click, you can adjust the text box. Okay, so that's our uh, Cloud Plus. We can use highlight as well. We can use a highlighter or as a pen. I'm gonna use it as a highlighter and you can just press here, you can highlights the, if you press down uh, the control key, you're gonna have a straight line. It's different from the review that you need to press shift down. Here you press a control key down and you're gonna have a straight line. And the other one, and we can also uh, place images if you if we need. So let's say for example, they wanna create a image here. I can, for example, open here. And I can create a, And I'm gonna place my image here if I need to address anything here. For example, like this. And it's done. It's it's so basically the, the markup editor here in the, in the cloud, it works basically the same as a review. So that's no, no big difference. You can see that we don't have all the markup tools that we have in Bluebeam review, because it, this is not meant, as I mentioned before, to be the substitute to review. It's meant to be a, a, a tool that you can use on the go. So on the fly, you, you, you need to, to do something that you are not at the office, but you need to access your drawings. So you, you don't have a, 
your computer, you don't have your uh, program installed, you can use a, a mobile device or, or some uh, a laptop that you don't have uh, your program installed and you can use the web browser here to do the same thing that you usually do at the office with a different tool. So it's an additional resource for you to work with your drawings. And here, when we have all the markups, especially when we, you are importing from Bluebeam Studio, you have all these markups here and you have comments and things like that. And you're gonna find here on the, this top corner, the comments and shapes tab. If you click here, you're gonna see the comments and the shapes. So the comments is pretty like a markup list. It works as a markup list in Bluebeam Review. So you're gonna see what it's about. It's uh, who, whoever created the, the markup, uh, what is need to be done, facet to be painted, for example. And here, if you click here, see this drop down list, you can change the status of this markup. So now, for example, I want to say that's accepted. And I even can write a reply here. For example, work accepted. And I send. So now everyone that comes here to this uh, drawing, we know that the facades need to be painted. Um, it was created by Ben. I reviewed accepted the work, and then someone else can come here when the work is done, change the, the status and say, for example, it's completed or it's canceled or whatever you want to change here. So it works as a, our markups list uh, in a resumed way, let's say like, like that. And the shapes is pretty much the same. Uh, you can see all the markups and it brings you to the, the, to the markup that you look into. Uh, the thing here is, is with the shapes, you cannot uh, change status and reply as well. So you need to do that under the comments tab. So again, this comments and shapes, top right corner, just here, and just uh, giving a anticipating a little bit, it's the same place you're gonna find your punch list and your RFI list as well. Okay, so here uh, on the toolbar, you can see that we have the two chairs. So if I click here, I have a standard two chairs here with, for example, architect review, contractor review, engineer review, and uh, it's, it's a basic one, but you can choose to bring, to import from your, uh, your network, you can uh, choose to bring your, your two chests. So what I need to do, it's just click here. I can create from now from scratch, or uh, I can upload from here. So for example, for example, I here have my Bluebeam Cloud webinar tool set. So I'm just click here. I think it's uploading. And now I have my Bluebeam Cloud webinar tool set and I can use it in the way that I customize inside review. Uh, uh, as usually you, you're gonna do with the, the PC program. So you're gonna use the same customization that you use there. So uh, it's a different way for you. You don't need to come here and create your own customize again. You can bring from your, uh, your profile and you can bring it and, and, and import here, upload here, and you're gonna start working with your usual tools that you are, that you usually work with. Okay, something that's uh, really cool to see, and I'm gonna try to show you, is that everything that I'm doing here, it's in real time. Again, 
it's in real time between clouds, not between the cloud and Bluebeam Studio session. Okay, that's that needs to be really, really clear because we are not talking about uh, updating here and at the same time in real time it's updating in Bluebeam Studio. You, of course, when you finish work in the field, you can export to the Bluebeam Studio. I'm going to show that, but it's a manual process. It's not automatic. But if someone is working on the Bluebeam Cloud as well, they can uh, they can see the change in real time, and they we can collaborate in the field. So, for example, now. I'm going to choose this one here and this one. I'm going to just it like this. Um, I'm just going to set now. So this one, uh, I'm here uh, logged in as myself. This one, I'm going to log in as my colleague. So I'm logging in as Alex Ekamp, which is my colleague that we are working together in the same project. You can see that he's working on something in his workplace, workspace. So I cannot see that because it's for his own use. So I'm coming here to my project tab and I have two projects here. So he's working with someone else in another project, but what I'm interested in is the Bluebeam Cloud webinar. I'm going to use the same drawing here. And what I want to show you is that as soon as I place something here, for example, it's here now. So it's pretty quick uh, how it works. So if, I, if you're working with someone else, you can at the same time see everything that uh, you both are doing in real time, which is pretty cool and pretty powerful, especially when you, you, you're talking about a field issues, you, you want sometimes the, the responses straight away. So you can see oh, yeah, yeah, here and you can give, yeah, I, I placed here, he can come here and can respond to the, the questions here and uh, change the status, as we mentioned before, straight away. And I'm going to see that that has been changed. OK. And now we're going to start uh, our field tools, which are punch lists and RFIs. So we have all our markups here. I'm just gonna close this one here. And So now we're going to start using our field tools. I'm going to choose the my this one here. So this one I, I've I marked up as well in Bluebeam Review, and I've created some spaces, which is uh, a really uh, a handful, handy way to to prepare for your punch list because as soon as you have your spaces in your ma in your drawing when i started uh, placing the, the my punch list the uh, uh, bluebeam cloud will identify the place that i that that i'm putting that that's uh, that punch list that element so i'm just going to show you how it's going to work so our punch list is the same here uh, under our uh, markup tools. So 
what you're going to have here is the RFI and the punch list. So I'm going to choose my punch list. So I'm just, for example, I'm going to choose this concession here. And I'll probably say something like fixture. I can change my priority here as high, for example, the due date, I'm going to say tomorrow. And I can choose my assign assignees, uh, the, the people that were going to have receive the, the work. So I'm going to choose Alexa Camp to receive that. I can choose more than one. And I can even choose groups as well. So I can create groups. I'm going to show you that how to do that. So I have two groups here, which is the architecture of V01. So if I choose a group and you have like, for example, 10, 10 people in that group, all of them will receive the same uh, punch. So I'm just going to leave uh, blank here. And I'm going to choose my discipline as electrical, for example. And again, I can upload a photo here. And yeah, so just going to save. And it's saving. As soon as we have saved, it's here. Anyone can see my, my punch list and I can place any uh, as much uh, as, I, as I need, as many as I need. And I can come here again, uh, top uh, right corner and place my punch list. I'm gonna have here all my punch lists here. And I see, what is that? And yeah, so everyone can, can uh, see the what is going on, what is needs to be done, where uh, when is the due date, and things like that. So I can place as many as I want. Again, if you place in, in uh, uh, for example, here I did not create any space here. I can place again. The only thing is that you need to. Uh, type the location because uh, Bluebeam Cloud won't uh, recognize the location here. And it's it's fundamental that you have the location. It's a requirement. So you, you, you need to type here. But of course, everything else is, is, is the same. It doesn't change. It's just creating spaces previously. It's pretty handy to, to do that without wasting time typing the places that you need to to know. Okay. My next job is to create an RFI. Uh, what I need to create an RFI. Um, actually, I'm going to show you my RFI sessions. I've created one here. To create one another one, it's it's just simple as that. You just again, it's pretty much you need to fill the uh, the forms. I for the sake of time, I've created another uh, one here because it's just it's a subject. What 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 the question is? Who is the assignee? Uh, distribution list to date, the impact if it's cost, if it's schedule or it's cost and schedule, and who is requesting, which is myself and team and the project details. So that's the way you're gonna create an RFI. So I have created one here, just for you to know, it's everything like uh, I, I, I showed before. What you, you can do here, when you see an RFI and you are not sure how to respond, for example, you, you're not the one that needs to respond, for example, or you need uh, an insight from someone else, you can forward the, the RFI. So you're going to forward here and you're going to start a, a discussion. So you can forward uh, for as many as you want uh, colleagues and you're going to start a discussion and this discussion is going to create populate here and everyone that has access to the project will know what's going on with that RFI. But um, what I want to do is just create a an official response right straight away here. So what I'm gonna do is just like review 
I'm gonna upload the file. So it's here. And I'm gonna send. So now, uh, if we go to our drawings and we go to our the one that I, we placed the oops I think I closed the it's it's not supposed reopen yeah save because when I I I, I put it like uh, yeah. Uh, the thing here, if you send, it's going to close. If you just save, it's going to create as a draft. But yes, let's say I want to send that, that draft. Yeah. It's closed now. I responded to the, the RFI, and now it's done. Everyone can come here. I can reopen if I want. But this one, no, it's okay. I responded. So I'm just go into my drawing, for example, and I'm gonna have this airport two here again. Uh, maybe this one is it's cleaner. And the thing is my RFI was about this facade here. So what I need to do now to place that RFI for, to, for everyone to know, you just click here I'm going to choose my, again, here, RFI. I'm going to choose the one I'm going to select. And I'm going to place here. And it's, it's there now. So everyone that comes here will know that this RFI has been responded. And they can have a look and say and see what was the problem and what is the response that uh, we came after uh, realize discussing or inspecting or yeah we we came to a decision so that's place and now you can see all our markups here our punch list our RFIs and yeah when you finish that's where we're going to start like uh, exporting back to the to the Bluebeam Cloud or Bluebeam um, Studio. So let's say we have these drawings here. We finish our work. We create our punch list. We create our RFIs. We responded everything. We mark up whatever we needed. Now we need to send back to the office to the Bluebeam Studio session. So what I need to do is come here to the settings and I'm going to export the project data. And when I click here, I'm going to choose to Studio Projects. And I can choose what I want to send. So if I want to send only the drawing, only the punch list, RFIs, so middle, user data, I can choose that. I'm just going to choose the ones that we, we created. I'm going to put next. I'm going to choose the project that I want to export which is the Bluebeam Cloud Webinar. And the export is in progress. So now we're going to send back to there. It's, uh, as I said before, it's not an automatic uh, update. So you're going to receive uh, a zip file, a zip folder, and you need to unzip first. And yeah, yeah. And then you can update your drawings in your Bluebeam session. If I go back to there i'm gonna see when it's done here what i need to do i can sync here yeah so it's here now it will be called export dot zip so if i click here it's going to export and you need to extract and upload to the to the to the studio session and it's here just like any other uh, zip folder that you work with 
So now we finish here. And something that I, I really would like to show, because now here I'm working from my desktop and you can see that, yes, I'm creating punch lists, but I still I'm, I'm using my desktop. I'm not on the field. I'm not using my mobile device, right? So that's the thing that I want to show you how it works with your mobile device. So I'm just going to start doing this. Just bear with me. Just need to so now you can see my iPad's screen, and I'm gonna choose here my Bluebeam Clouds app. I'm there and I I have my project. You you see that difference from the, the desktop. Uh, Bluebeam Cloud is that we don't have um, the our workplace, so it's straight to our project, and it works pretty much the same here. Uh, I just need to update here. So all my drawings here, and choose the same one. And what I need to do, not, not this one, sorry. And now I'm just gonna create my punch list. I'm put it here, man. Broken. Picture. Pretty high. Tomorrow. I'm gonna use it to myself, say this one, discipline, electrical, save. I can attach photos and I can take a photo from my uh, iPad. So if I'm doing this inspe inspection and I'm there and I'm creating this punch list, I see the broken fixture there, I can take a photo straight away and put in here. And and that's pretty much it. And I will save. And it's there. So it's pretty easy to, to use the, the app on the field. You see, I'm here holding my iPad and just going do, there, I see all the, my markups. I can uh, see what they, they are. And yeah, and I have my punch list, RFIs. If I need, I can create my RFI as I, uh, I showed before, there's the same symbol on top left there. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty easy and pretty cool to use that. It's the big advantage of the Bluebeam Cloud is that you have this connectivity between the field and the office in a very smooth way that you can create or use your markups and uh, punch lists as well on the fly. And then you can uh, connect all the drawers and update back to the review, Bluebeam review. Yeah, um, I think that's pretty much what I, mm, I wanted to show you today. And I hope you have a, a good insight of what is Bluebeam Clouds and uh, which situations, where, where are you gonna use and what's the value of using this tool, which is pretty powerful and integrates with uh, your review uh, for desktop, your review program. So.